In less than 40 years, TSMC has built an empire of mega factories across Taiwan. In the suburbs of Taipei, the TSMC factories are impenetrable. Corporate communication is strict. Interviews with employees are forbidden, as are images from inside. TSMC has become the center of global attention. The company has the power to paralyze the world. TSMC produces 90% of the most advanced processor chips. From Apple, whether it's an iPhone or NVIDIA, which powers many data centers, TSMC produces many of their chips. And without TSMC's production, the entire digital economy would simply ground to a halt. Of all of the companies you know in the world, this is the only company that currently has something they make in our possession right now. There are no others. So there's basically air and TSMC. <laughs> COVID was this massive accelerant. Now, everybody's communicating online. Zoom became a common word, you know, not for a telescopic lens, but for how we communicate. The semiconductor industry was sort of rolling along at 5 or 6% kind of growth rate. And all of a sudden, when COVID happened, that bounced up to demand of 20 to 25%. But it also disrupted supply chains. So the supply went negative. There's a lot of analogy to what we saw in 1973, you know. In 1973, oil was a given. Nobody worried about oil. It was always there, until it wasn't. Now we fast forward, 2020. Silicon Valley's chips have always been there, until they weren't. And all these questions slowly pop up. Where are they, you know? Where did they come from? Who is producing it? This is exactly why chips and semiconductors are now strategic. The pandemic has painfully exposed the vulnerability of chips supply chains. COVID-19 pandemic exposed the fragility of just-in-time supply chains. I think for a couple of decades now, political leaders, meanwhile, have just not thought much about the industry. They've thought semiconductors were something that plugged into their computer or smartphone, and their thinking stopped basically right there. Nous avons sur le sujet des composants en particulier électroniques un énorme défi. The global semiconductor shortage has caused a shortfall in consumer goods, especially automobiles, and it's contributing to higher prices around the world. And so it's only in the past couple of years due to the pandemic, due to the geopolitical competition, that leaders have started thinking about, is this a risk? <laughs>